Hey guys, it's Metacosis Perfect Sinatus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our biochemistry and nutrition playlists. In previous videos, we talked about vitamins, the fat-soluble vitamins and the water-soluble vitamins. We also started talking about minerals or micronutrients, and these include sodium, potassium, chloride, phosphate, magnesium, calcium. We talked about zinc, iron, and copper in previous videos. Today, it's time to talk about chromium which is very important for the function of insulin. The action of insulin on the target organs like skeletal muscles and fat cells can be helped with chromium. Also, chromium makes complexes with proteins in your DNA. Let's get started. Please watch these videos in order. Let's start with a case. Here is a patient who presents with increased insulin resistance, decreased glucose tolerance, and peripheral neuropathy, nerve problems such as tingling, numbness, and other neurological symptoms. Oh, this sounds like diabetes. Exactly, but what if I told you that this diabetes was related to a mineral deficiency? Which mineral is it? Answer, this patient had chromium deficiency. So what's chromium? It's a mineral. It's a transition metal in the periodic table. Because remember, nutrients are either macronutrients or micronutrients. Macronutrients, you need them in big quantities every day. Carbohydrates, protein, and fat. Measured in grams per day. How about micronutrients? You need less than that. We have vitamins and we have minerals. The vitamins are water-soluble and fat-soluble. Please don't forget choline, which is also water-soluble. As for minerals, we have macro-minerals, usually required in more than 100 milligrams per day. And micro-minerals, usually less than 100 milligrams per day. Chromium is here. It's a micro-mineral or micro-element or trace element because you need just a little every day. But that does not mean that these micro minerals do not serve an important function. They do. Minerals are inorganic, they are cofactors for enzymes, but vitamins are organic and they are coenzymes or precursors to coenzymes. The difference between cofactors and coenzymes was discussed before. Nutrients can be divided into five groups. Number one, the macro nutrients. Number two, the macro elements or the macro minerals. Then we have the micro minerals. We have number four, which is the role is unknown in the body, and group five, which is toxic to the human body. Chromium is here in group three. It's a micromineral. Deficiency is usually not fatal, but can lead to some serious symptoms. What is organic chemistry? It's the chemistry of carbon. What is inorganic chemistry? The chemistry of everything else except carbon. So chromium is here. It's a mineral. It's inorganic. It's relatively small in size. It serves some important functions in the human body. And it is water soluble. If something is ionized like this, it means it is polar, i.e. water soluble. Who gets rid of the water soluble stuff in your body? The kidney does. That's why if I overdose on the these doozies, I can get kidney damage because I'm increasing the load on my kidney. So minerals are small in size, they are inorganic, they are water soluble because look at the charges, they have many functions in the body. So there you go, your nutrients in one lovely slide. Please pause and review. You can download my notes on my website, metacosisperfectionatus.com. Next, what's the function of chromium then? Well, chromium helps insulin. What is insulin? Well, insulin is a hormone made and secreted by your pancreas and secreted during the feeding state, not the fasting state, not when you're starving. We divide biochemistry into insulin land and glucagon land, the land of feeding versus the land of starvation, the land of abundance versus the land of scarcity. Insulin alone is here, but everything else is here. Glucagon, cortisol, epinephrine, thyroid hormone, all of these belong to the glucagon world. Since insulin is released in the feeding state, Insulin is a builder. Insulin builds up stuff, i.e. anabolic. So insulin is anabolic. It's released from the pancreas, specifically the beta cells of the pancreas, during the feeding state, when you're eating. What does it do? It's anabolic. It builds up small amino acids into big proteins. It builds up glucose into big sugar, called glycogen. It builds up free fatty acid into big fat, called triglycerides. And that's why if you eat too much, especially too much sugar, what's going to happen? You will become fat. Insulin is a builder of fat. Who releases insulin? The pancreas. In response to what? 
to feeding, especially glucose. What does insulin do? It tries to reach the target cell, usually adipose tissue, which is a fat cell, or skeletal muscle cell, and will tell that muscle to take the glucose in. And by taking the glucose in, there will be less glucose available outside in the blood, which decreases your blood glucose. But what if insulin cannot function? What if insulin cannot act on its receptor? Then you will not be able to tell the cell to take the glucose inside. These cells will suffer damage and you will end up with too much glucose in your blood, hyperglycemia. So chromium is essential, which means your body cannot synthesize it. Therefore, you need to consume it in your diet. It's a micronutrient. It's micro mineral. It's an ion. It is charged. It's a cation because carry positive charge, usually trivalent in your body. So chromium three plus. And if it's charged, it's water soluble. It's a transition metal. You'll find it in the middle of the periodic table, not in the left column, not in the right column. It's somewhere in the middle. Transition metals are there. Function. Physiologically speaking, chromium will build up chromodulin. I-N because it's a protein. Chrome because it's from chromium. Modulin because it's modulates. It's a modulating protein made from chromium. Modulating what? Modulating the ability of insulin to bind its own receptor, making it easier for insulin to function, which means glucose tolerance improves. Insulin resistance decreases. Amazing. Serum cholesterol decreases. That's what insulin does because insulin takes the fat away from the blood and puts it inside fat cells. When there is less fat in the blood, there is less LDL oxidation and therefore less plaque formation and therefore less atherosclerosis, which means lower risk of heart attacks and strokes. Thank you, chromium. There is increased weight gain. Why? This is what insulin does in the feeding state. It's the land of abundance. Insulin feeds the fat. Also, it increases amino acid incorporation. That's what insulin does. It builds up amino acids into proteins. That's why you consider chromium a glucose tolerance factor or GTF. Love it. Chromium also forms complexes with proteins and nucleic acids. These complexes are almost inert. Diseases caused by chromium deficiency. The opposite of glucose tolerance is low glucose tolerance or glucose intolerance. The opposite of insulin sensitivity is insulin resistance. And what do people with diabetes get? They get peripheral neuropathy, nerve damage, tingling and numbness, mostly sensory deficits, not motor deficits. So all of these symptoms are symptoms of diabetes because of this. See, medicine makes so much sense once you understand what the flip you're talking about. There is some evidence that chromium supplements may lower insulin resistance, which might be good for patients with diabetes, or it might reduce risk of developing diabetes. How good is chromium at preventing or treating diabetes is an empirical question, not a foregone conclusion. So today we talked about chromium. How about cadmium? Do you know that cadmium can be toxic? Of course, it's the dose that makes the poison. What are the symptoms of cadmium toxicity? How about cobalt toxicity? Did you know that cobalamin, which is vitamin B12, has cobalt? That's why we call it cobalamin. You can learn more about cobalt toxicity, cadmium toxicity, iron toxicity, copper toxicity mercury poisoning, arsenic poisoning, and much more by downloading my toxicology course at metacosisperfectsnellis.com. Please subscribe and hit the bell. Enjoy more than 1,300 videos on this channel. And if you want more, there are 300 premium videos available to you if you click on the join button and choose the highest tier, and then you can watch them right here on YouTube right now. You can support the channel here or here. Go to my website to download my notes, courses, and cases. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfect Snellus, where medicine makes perfect sense.